true story. Today, a friend of mine brought some donuts to work. And I put this on the top of the box. It says, Democrat Donuts. Enjoy. It always tastes better when someone else pays for it. <laughs> Brought to you by the teachers for Obama. So I put this, taped it to the donut box and put it in the break room. A few minutes later, I walked in there and somebody had ripped the uh, label off. I don't know what to make of that. It reminds me a little bit of the people who, you know, the elderly Tea Party people who were on Medicare protesting socialized medicine. <laughs> well, you guys know me. I like to rail away about religion and politics, so here we go. God created man in his own image. But God is a caricature of humanity, vindictive, obsessive, vain, and demanding, and conniving, placing bets with Satan on the miseries of Job, satisfied only by blood, yours, or the blood of another, it matters not, as long as somebody suffers, somebody bleeds, somebody dies, somebody pays for the transgressions committed against the edict of his holy will the whim of an embittered God who breaks his toys and casts them into the fire. Shall we gather at the river and sing praises to the omnipotent rat? Sorry if I offended anyone. Just had to get that out. Okay. okay. I call this, this is really what I wanted to read, the voice behind the throne. Dick Cheney could buy the heart of a dead man, while some working mom with a kid or two couldn't afford a checkup for herself or her children. And lots of good Christians think that's just fine. They bristle at the unrighteousness of abortion and rail against Planned Parenthood, while their tax dollars support the world's largest war machine. It rumbles on, unstoppable making men like Dick Cheney rich. But if you were to ask them, they don't believe in Keynesian economics. Yes, Dick Cheney bought the heart of a dead man. Before that, he lived for a time with no heart at all. He had a mechanical pump that moved blood through his veins with no pulse, just a mechanical whirr. What a fitting symbol, I think, for the new American century and the moribund neocon dream. 